Thank you, thank you, thank you. You got into the, uh... <laughs> that doesn't bother me, my wife. Uh, he's in there, <laughs> story. Raccoons, there's armadillos, there's possums. And believe it or not, there are iguanas living all throughout here. Even though there's no central body of water, I guess the forest offers a lot of moisture and food for these animals to graze on. It is quite the machine. You ready? Yeah. Basically what's happened guys is somehow or another, I guess I've been putting so much work through it and out here in the elements, you know, and she actually had a seal leak. So I was trying to figure out like, what are the different options I can do? Like you know, I called around a couple different spots, some places that I can mail it in. We're looking at an average wait time of four to six weeks just to get her back here, here in South Florida in West Palm Beach. I said they can actually repair it. Let's go, let's go in there and check it out. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Raj, how's it going? Hey, how are you? Back up and running, no more leaks, and uh, hopefully we won't have to see you for a repair in a while. <laughs> What's happening, guys? I was filling it up, and as I was filling it, you can hear, like physically hear, like a, like a leak. I found out about you guys, Palm Beach Air Guns, and you guys told me I can bring her in and you guys can get her fixed. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So the FX is probably the brand that we do any kind of repair here. As yeah. well, right? Yeah. So yeah, that was cool, man. That was pretty quick because I just dropped this off. We're at Palm Beach Air Guns. What's your name again, man? Joel. Joel. And you? Josh. Josh. Uh, we're in West Palm Beach, Florida. You know, ready to see so you can pretty much get a good look at the compact, the standard, or the sniper. Uh, you know, okay. see which one works out better for you. And if we even have a new M4 Ooh. in the copper. Because there's not that many stores, if any, here in South Florida that actually physically have FX air guns. Um, he's gonna be the guy that does the uh, paintball airsoft mostly, and then I can focus on uh, the air guns. There goes their contact information right there. And guys, I didn't have to wait four to six weeks, all thanks to our friends at Palm Beach Air Guns. I don't think she knows that you're not supposed to be eating those mushrooms. Those grow from dogs doing their business. Hmm? So join me, we're gonna see if any are out. If so, you're gonna use our FX Impact M3. Uh, we just got her back. And shout out to Joel out there. Got it nice and running. Oh, he ducks. Did he book? Yeah. Hiding out by the pool. We're gonna see if we can get in there. Big one as well. And this right here are the green iguanas that we're trying to take out. At some point, these were pets. They started breeding. You can see the sizes of them. Maybe about a seven, eight pound lizard all day. This is the pool. That has been being affected by iguanas. Swim inside here and do their business. Just you know what I'm saying. It's another thing that we're looking for right here. These iguanas. Yeah, he hit the deck pretty good.
big one. Put him in the back. This tree right here is holding a giant iguana. If you don't believe me, give me a second because we're going to see if we can take him out with the FX. Oh, okay. Spotted. You have a good shot from right here. behind my dryer oh wow so when I turn that mother, the heat on the dryer sorry I, I hear this rattle or a friend of mine a roofer mm -hmm. from Nicaragua you I, went back there I told him about it say oh, come on let's get it out uh, you know quite the past because they get they yeah. climb up they go on the roof they go in the dryer vents yeah you got a pool they poop in the pool okay. you, you, you got that scope in there man you don't miss huh you keep coming from the other communities around the lake you know they keep moving all around the lake barely ever seen any here but this one and mine over there but yeah look you can see there's an iguana right there actually trying to break in as well we can't you can't do nothing that what on top no he's on the window oh wow oh yeah, yeah. Right on the window. oh but that one is on the glass My wife, uh, he's in there. <laughs> Different story. Oh, there's raccoons, there's armadillos, there's possums. And believe it or not, there are iguanas living all throughout here. Even though there's no central body of water, I guess the forest offers a lot of moisture and food for these animals to graze on. learned a lesson from going inside that jungle though. Without any boots, proper footwear, or gear. It's pretty hazardous. We might be able to send him. He's not too far in, that's the thing. Oh, jeez. You ready? There it is. Easy as that. Joel from Palm Beach Air Guys, thank you so much, buddy. You brought back my baby. And as you see, we're not hesitating. We're taking out beasts, iguanas. Right here, though, there's different holes. I actually uh, strained my calf in here, my calf muscle. Okay. But there we have it right there. Sheesh. Come wide, come wide, guys. Come wide, we do. Oh my, there's something in the trap, Tara. No way. What's up, what's up, guys? Oops. We got a lot to do today. We got a busy day. Early start, busy day. That we do, that we do. A lot of things on the checklist. How we're going to start off the day, guys, is we're going to set some traps. This is Tara. She's going to be working uh, this little net trap to try to catch some of these amoebas. As they call them, rainbow runners. They kind of look like little tegus. And they're pretty fast, huh? Oh yeah, they're quick. You can't hardly grab them. You gotta use a trap or noose them or, you know, use a glue trap, rat trap, whatever you gotta do. 
They're tough to catch. That they are. So I, from what we've caught several of them right here in this little nook in that bush. I see. I see a little trap right there hanging see out. See that little trap. Let's yeah. See what we can do. We can if deploy. If you want to remove some of those traps and add that trap to it, we got live bait in there. And that might that might be what it takes to entice them. All right. Perfect. Yep, it's okay if they close. That's good. Alright. Do okay, take a little uh, peek around. A lot of times I'll try to run them to the trap. Now these things are insectivores. Oh yeah. And they got hey. a fast ooh, metabolism. Ooh. There's think? something. Is that an iguana? Oh, a snake. A snake? Yeah, it's a black racer. I'm trying not to spook them. They're fast. These are the fastest freaking snakes. They don't call them racers for nothing. Oh, it's a little guy. You see him? Uh, I hear him. Oh. <laughs> little racer. <laughs> oh, how cool is that? <laughs> I think there's an iguana too in here. I heard it. That's, that's what we're trying to get because those iguanas are responsible for eating these hibiscus yeah. flowers that are grown here that our customer absolutely adores, but she's absolutely annoyed at these pesky iguanas. Yo, look at this. Little little juvenile racer. He's musking all over me, but look at how pretty. these. Are, the ones in South Florida have like almost a blue sheen to them. This one doesn't have a lot of the blue, but you can kind of see around his neck right here. These are gorgeous. I love black racers. So these are native species right here, and these guys will actually eat uh, like, I guess, mice, small rodents, and maybe even and a baby iguana. They do. Here. They will eat baby iguanas, baby uh, amoebas, anything they can fit in their mouth. And they get a lot bigger than this. They, this is like a, you know, maybe a few years old, uh, but they'll get like, uh, you know, up to six feet sometimes. They're, uh, oh, wow. They can get pretty big, but they're long and skinny. You know, they don't, they're not, they don't get really robust uh, like, like a python might be. They're like a real skinny colubrid. Oh, man. So this guy right here, what we're going to do is our customer, you know, she wouldn't know better if she's seen that. She might think it's venomous. So what we're going to do is we're going to relocate him in the back where he can do his thing. I know that they're all throughout here because where we're at, I mean, it's prolific uh, with these, um, you know, just wildlife in general. We're out here in the middle of nowhere, guys, in this private property. But He's uh, yeah. probably hunting those amoebas, and we're trying to hunt those, so we got to, we can't be taking, letting him take our bounty. No, no, yeah, that we can't, that we can't. But like I said, we just want to remove him because our customer, she, she's a little bit, you know, she's wary of snakes, you know. Oh, yeah. She might freak out. But don't worry, guys, we're going we're gonna to actually show you where we release him at. It's going to be back here. You want to bring them here, Tara. That was a that was a great eye and a great catch, by the way. Hey, what's on the tree right there? What? Oh, it's a curly tail. Oh. <laughs> he was posted up like a daggum guaner. Oh, amoebas right there. Amoebas where? He went back in the bushes. That's a we'll good. We'll go. We'll go yeah, wide go around wide. him. Let's go wide. Come wide, guys. Come wide. We do. Oh my! There's something in the trap, Tara. No way. I, pro I, I promise. There's something in the is trap. It, is it in it or is he on underneath it? It's something inside of the trap, actually. Wait. Is, is it? Oh. Is he in? Oh, he's in. He's it. in. He's in. I go, I got. Oh my. Oh, it's gosh. a basilisk. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We oh, didn't even see that. Flipping way. Oh, she's fat. She's full of eggs. No way. Look at that. Double Florida grab right there, guys. And look, you can see the lumps of eggs on her side. She's full of eggs. Ooh. We just removed like probably ten or fifteen more basilisks out of here. Yo, sensational. That, that is great right here. Look at that. So you probably got a little hungry, full of eggs. They now full egg. of crickets. <laughs> now full of crickets. The crickets are still in there? Uh, we might have to restock it. I think they ate them all. She came in there quick. She was probably lurking. These animals are lurking and looking for food. Like I said, uh, are we, are we, we're going to keep this one, right? Oh, no, we're keeping this one. We're keep, We're going to re relocate this one. This is a native one. This is supposed to be here, and these are not supposed to be here. So we're going to put her in the bag. <laughs> Man. She's literally got crickets like hanging out of her mouth. <laughs> that is a feisty, cool lizard. Yo, that's why I, I, I invited Tara out here because, guys, she's a lot quick, a lot nimble, and a lot knowledgeable hand grabbing and identifying and using the, the right techniques to catch these critters. Me, I run out of patience very easily. I'm not going to lie. You know, I, that's why I got my air ref for right here. I see something, I just take aim. But Tara, you know, she's all for, uh, you know, removing these invasives. Like some of them can be as pets. And then also these, these native animals, like just getting them out of the way of people, because oh, yeah. you know the, um, the owners, like I said, they they're just they're, they just don't know, guys. A snake, she might think it's venomous, but you know, thanks to Tara, potentially just saved that snake's life. Yep, yep. What was that? 
Is he in the banana tree? He just came out oh, of Oh, I saw him. He's yeah, running. Yeah, he just came out of that lime tree. Oh, there's... Oh, oh there my. he goes. There he goes. Oh, my God. Smoked him. Smoked him, yeah. Got him. Oh, there's another one across the, uh, by that cow. Yeah. On, now the here's, left, on the left side of the cow, he's walking towards the cow. Here's the thing, guys. I could take aim at this. You could see it right there. Massive iguana by that big heifer. I could take aim, guys, but you know, uh, I just, I wouldn't want to freak that animal out, you know? He's, he's too close. He's too close, Terry. Like, even though I do have a clear shot, yeah. I, I just feel like I wouldn't want to freak him out. I feel like the iguana knows if he stays next to that heifer. He's safe. Oh, there he is. There he is. And Joel at Palm Beach Air Guns, guys, is a man of his word. What do you see, Tara? Iguana. He's moving, though. Is he massive? Uh, he, oh, there he is. You see him? Oh, you yeah, got yeah. a clear shot right there. Done. Booyah. I'm gonna let this little racer go. Yep, here, we get a shot of her releasing that racer. He's up in that bush, we clocked him. All right, all right, little buddy. Go find something to hide in. All right, now let's get that guaner. Yep. Hey, removing the invasive iguanas, saving the native species. That's what oh, we might have to go through it, about. through yep, the bush. I'll go up in there. Two iguanas, the, the, the report was there was a giant iguana marching and, and being territorial and uh, potentially confrontational out here. That's what we were I think really... I, I think I see him. Am I close to him? Uh, oh, the he's, big iguana? He's in the neighbors, but yeah, I think, oh. I can't tell if that's a stick or if that's an iguana. I got, I'm blind. Can oh you see him? Oh my gosh. There's two of them, I think. That oh. one is definitely an iguana, but the second one looks like a stick, maybe. Uh, Both of them? Mm -hmm. That one yeah, looks like a... Oh, he's going to the water? Let's yep. go back there, and we do got two iguanas for our clients. Hey, that, hey that's, a, that's a win in my book. Oh, oh yeah, that's a win. Now, Tara, I want to ask you something. Since you're down here with me in the field, I just wanted to show you something real quick and get your opinion. All right. Um, do you think that the iguanas this size or a little bit bigger can go on trees and, and weigh them down? What you got? If we got a, we got a iguana right here. Actually. Oh, I see him. Oh, he's, he's looking at you. We got a clear backstop too. He's like trying to crouch. I see you. Oh, got him. Got him. Oh, he's going in the water. Yep, he do if it's all good. He's all good. You whacked him though. Yep. I see him right there. I might be able to finish him. Is he coming back up? Let me angle myself real quick so I don't spook that heifer. That might have been the one that was by the heifer. Yep, probably came over here. He said, what's going on? Oh, he just, he just submerged. Oh, he's right there. Done. Lights out. Chum the water. Lights out. This is my question for you, Tara. Yeah, yeah. I'm seeing this tree right here is, is kind of doing the lean with it, rock with it. See how it's kind of leaning a little bit? Oh, yeah. This right here. Can, a, can, a, 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 is it possible that a big, Three, four, five pound iguana can lay up on there and kind oh, of. Oh, totally. If that's a, if this is like his favorite tree or like this is what he's claimed, he'll sit on there and just constantly push on it. I mean, that's a ten pound animal pushing on a limb. You know, that's that's a lot of pressure for a tree. Because if you have an iguana in like an enclosure or something like that, you gotta always constantly put new trees in there, right? Oh yeah, they'll tear them up. They're, they they're a strong, strong animal. You can check it right here as well. Claw oh, marks. Claw marks, yeah. So it's a big, it's a big animal going on top there, guys. We're not Could making be. this up. You see how they had to reinforce this, but I'm saying though. People that have iguanas in enclosures, if they have live trees in there, eventually every couple months, you are going to have to probably replace that tree to, you know, to supplement the need for the iguana because he'll go on top there and you can see it like, you know, it, it's something was big was on there. Oh, yeah. Something big was on there. For a while, that's probably a favorite perch of a monster. Yeah. Yeah, that, that iguana, that monster iguana is probably, probably one of his favorite spots. Well, we got three of them out right now. Let's go check them traps, man. All right. We gotta... that, that guy's DOA. I'm going to snap a photo of that for the Custy. All right. All right. And we got two in the I'm back. I'm going to go uh, reset the uh, trap with some more crickets. All right. I'm coming with you. All right. All right. I think we might have another uh, contestant in the game show. All right. Let's see what we got. What we got? Yep. 
Yeah, something's in there. There's a lizard in the trap. I oh. see movement. Oh. I see oh. movement. Oh, we got something. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's it's a oh it's a big basilisk. We got the we got the Mac Daddy. Oh. oh, we got his girlfriend, and we got the male. Oh, look at that. You don't want to get bit by these. Whoa. Whoa. Look at that. With that big th frill on top. That Oh, he's only got three legs. Look, he's missing a foot. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Look at that. Probably got into some type of altercation. Oh, yeah. He's the dominant, big male dominant basilisk. Look at those teeth. You do not want to get bit by these things. These will like tear you up. You wouldn't think a little lizard like this could bite you that bad, but this is probably one of the worst lizard bites I've ever gotten. Yo, straight up dinosaur. Check that out. Out of the woodworks. Leave it to Tara. Set a trap with some live bait and just pull this dinosaur out the bush. That's Our right. customer is going to be thrilled. That's right. No more dinosaurs. Nope. But hey, where there's one or two, there's, there's more. There's probably more. So let's keep, uh, let's, let's put a couple more up in there. Oh yeah. A couple more live baits, see if we can fish out a couple more for our custies. Let's. Oh my gosh. Wow. The king wow. and the queen. That's right. That's probably his, her baby daddy. More than likely. All right, More let's, than get, likely. let's get looks, this trap. He looks like he's big enough to do some fertilization. We got some crickets in the tube. Got to deliver the bag. And just like that. Now let's see if we can get one more, one more lizard out of here. Yep. See if we can make it happen. Then I'm gonna, we're gonna leave some of these traps right here to reset, and then we'll be back later. That's right. But let's check back here one more time. Follow me, man. Have you got some uh, traps to set here? Those little ones. Oh, that's all the ones you set. Yeah. Oh, something went down right there. See that big splash? Oh, it's a little amoeba. It's a babe. Let me see if I can. Oh, oh, nope. He's it, quick. A little one. He's a little guy. He's claimed this island as his. I missed him. He's on right. the tree? On that thing. Where? On which one? Oh, oh yeah. Hit him with that hawk tua. Gotcha. Look like a leaf. I Camouflaging. So we got one more to take out of this property. That's that's perfect, man. You know what? These little iguanas are plaguing the customer's uh, hibiscus, and it's become a real nuisance to her. She loves her flowers. I mean, you don't blame her, you know. But an iguana to a flower, you know, a flower to an iguana is like. I don't know, it's like a smoothie or a piece of candy. They just absolutely love it. So we're gonna add that to the pile and the bounty. That is great, great, great. Adults. Yeah, well, we get a pair of basilisk baby iguana. Three adults. All right, what we got in the trap? Nothing. Skunked. Might have cleaned house right now. Yeah. For now. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Spring action. Whoa. All right. Thank you. You gotta reset your traps. Yeah, I'm gonna reset them real quick. Running. Yeah, you we get the truck running. Cool. Let me take a couple photos All of right. that. We're out. Cricket it up. I haven't used this one yet. I got this one off Timu, not a sponsor. Send some up front. We might set it right there in that opening. Oh, I heard a big one. Yeah. That's the game plan, at least. <laughs> All right, got that one set. You guys remember what happened last time I was here? Oh, his helicomia are beautiful. I got to take a picture for Caitlin. All right, lizards, where y'all at? Oh, I think I already see one. Let me get my pole ready. I thought I, oh, is that a baby iguana? I thought I saw something in the bush. Yeah, something definitely moved on that bush. 
don't know. Maybe it was a bug. I, I'm not crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you went like right in the bush by the fence? Oh yeah. So you might be a little wary. Yeah, but you said that trap there. You might go for it. Oh, is that an iguana? That sounded like something big. Where does she usually see them at the most? She sees them right here by the, on her patio deck. And then like all, like you see all these little islands, the bushes? Yep. Yeah. That's the territory. Maybe over here. I see that one baby. They, they might have skipped town. They knew I was coming. I say maybe put it in the middle here. Okay. Between these two bushes. That'll, that's a good starting point right there. Or maybe up in there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'll draw them out. Oh, I heard a scamper. I heard a skedaddle. You're actually going to try to attempt the pole catches. If I, if I can get within range, for sure. Because you said that they're not super skittish, so... We'll try to nab one, nab one the old fashioned way. Let's do a little perimeter check. Yep. Let me make sure that trap is sitting down right. As soon as I came out here, I did see some scampering. Some scampering, some scampage. Yep. Here was some type of garden or something. I tracked in it, but. Oh yeah. Like you can see something big when I actually went over it. Oh yeah, probably uh. Amoeba's eating those garden bugs. They'll dig them up, too. The iguanas live back here. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's, there's a big one. Big iguana. You gotta, gotta get him? That's a monster. That's Godzilla right there. Big iguana. You got some big iguanas back here. Take them out. Wait. What was that? I'll wait. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Another one. Mm -hmm. Done. Where'd you see the other one at? Oh, look right behind us. There's one on the uh, rock wall. Oh, some jumping out. You're out of the tree? But look on that culvert right there. Oh. Another one. Oh, he's done. Oh, there's one. He's about to jump. He's looking scared. He's suspicious. And big ones, you gotta take a couple shots. Yeah, especially they're getting into that breeding. They got all that testosterone built up on them. Yeah, that season's right around the corner. Like I said, guys, that's the difference. That's what it takes sometimes to take down a giant one. Like Man, that. that's a big one. That is a nice one right there. We might stick that down in the cooler. You got bags? Uh, like like trash bags? Yeah. I think so. Thank well, you want to mount it or freeze it? Giant or small? Oh, yeah. Oh, there's another one on that, uh, out there.
Yeah. Oh, he's out. Trap? Nope, not this one. Okay. We'll check the ones in the front yard. The thing with the amoebas, I've seen them, but they like they're super skittish. They just kind of. Oh yeah, once they get if they're spooked, they uh they usually don't come back. Sometimes they do, but. The thing is, I didn't even really do anything. I just like as soon as I came here, I just saw it. Oh yeah. No, they do. They just zoom. He said he went this way somewhere. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, there's an amoeba right there. Let's see if we can got any in that trap. Oh, there's another one over there. Oh, he ducked. He ducked down. I think he went behind the rock. Oh, I see him. The bromeliads are tangling up in my my little noose. Where'd he go? What the heck? Swing and a miss. Okay. Looks like that got set off, but there's nothing in it. You usually see the amoebas in here? Yeah, I mean, I usually see. It's good, it's still open. Ah, sh oh, <laughs> nope, not quite. Uh, yeah, let me get that. Is there any crickets left alive in here? Are there? No, <laughs> try that other one. Okay. Can the amoebas get in this one? Oh, yeah, more so than the actually, the crickets stay in here better. On the roof. She's back in action. FX Impact M3. Our friends at Palm Beach Air Gun, Joel, was able to her up, patch her up, get her up and running, change a couple parts. And as you can see, she's back on the force. She's helping me with this iguana remove. Call that a roof dweller. Mm. Mm -hmm. Customers complaining that iguanas are getting very close to the house. Now I kind of see what he means. At first I didn't really understand. 
I'm like, yeah, there's iguanas. It might be in the bush, might be here, here. He's like, no, you don't understand, sir. They're getting uncomfortably close. Coming, this wild territory in the back, coming across to the houses. I uh, think it has something to do with they're trying to uh, go on the roof or maybe eat some fruit. There's a big one that just appeared out of the bushes. Let me see if I can take them out. That's a big, that's a big dragon. Oh, one second, guys. Those nerves are no joke. This is actually one of the best pellet guns out there. It's a it's, it's made from a company called FX. Yeah. Uh, they're Swedish, and basically it's a it's like a it's like a fine-tuned, very adjustable uh, pellet gun. But this is what it shoots. It shoots these little oh these little pellets right here. And what does that stun them? I'm just gonna look right here real quick, and then yeah, let's come back to these You know, you yeah, can I'll show you in the front where I. I just want to look at this landscape right quick for a second. Okay, this is this should be pretty. This yard, that's huge. 